All right, so I'm finally doing a final boost leak test on the system. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the pressure here. Um, I've got it regulated about 15 uh, PSI or so, but I've already tested it. Uh, and it climbs well over 20 easy now. Uh, before, I, it was, I barely could get it to five, six PSI. And I mean, the air was just gushing right out of here when I had that uh, coupler on there. But how I did my setup was I basically just bolted it down and then I put four additional bolts, two in the top and one on each side there. Um, but I've already tested everywhere, all the pipe. Um, the only leak that I'm finding is on this Pro Charger uh, bypass valve. I mean, it's not... It's not a radical leak. It's not a big leak or anything like that, but um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of, <coughs> excuse me, it's got, it's got some seepage on there, nevertheless, and um, the sensor here before the old one, the factory one I was using was leaking. Uh, the only thing I did find as well was these uh, snow performance nozzles, this, the uh, quick disconnects. This one's here are not leaking so much. Uh, but the ones right here where they had that the uh, for the dual nozzle kit the T the T setup the uh, what do you call it uh, the T split So I ended up putting just seal it on them uh, seems to have fixed it um, Right now the, the system's pressured right uh, Well, you see you can see the pressure is set right at 16 and kind of climbing from there, but I've got it regulated anyways, but I've already tested it over that and it holds holds up just fine um, another thing was uh, this uh, throttle position sensor. It had a leak. Uh, it was leaking around the housing, but it kind of threw me off. Mm -hmm. So when I tried it out right now again, um, I found, I've come to find out that the sensor itself on the housing was leaking. So what I ended up doing was I just put some sealant and uh, I stopped it. So the sensor was leaking itself, not not around the sensor, but the sensor itself. So I got that taken care of. Other than that, I don't think I've got any more leaks going on. I've already kind of checked the injectors and uh, the intake as best as I can. There's kind of a lot of stuff there in the way. I've already tested all that. Uh, I've already pressure tested from the blower side all the way through the intercooler. Everything was good. Uh, right now, I'm just testing this half of the system, um, and that's it. I mean, it, it's other than that, I think it's ready to go. We're ready to get it dyno tuned, and uh, hopefully, no more problems. But uh, all the stuff that I was using, I was using, you know, just the the right stuff right there. That's what I was using. Great stuff right there. But uh, anyways, that's that's what I have in store for it, and. Hopefully from here, it's all good. So keep you guys updated. Later.